Hello, and welcome to Invisible Robots 101. When playing an offense in Aftercharge, you are playing as a team of invisible robots we call Workonics. Before jumping in the game, you will have to choose between five different Workonics, each with its own unique ability that can change the outcome of a match. For this video, I will be choosing Bubbles. Right at the beginning of a match, target your two allies and send them a few charges so you're ready to use your abilities when in need. Before things get heated, take a moment to review your abilities by pressing and holding F1. Your objective is to destroy all six extractors in the map without drawing too much attention to yourself. Be careful and do not confront enforcers head on, as they have many abilities to reveal you and take you down. When you get to an extractor, give it a few punches, but be ready to escape. Every time you strike an extractor, all enforcers are alerted. If you strike multiple extractors in short bursts, it will be harder for enforcers to follow your movements. When one of your allies gets taken down, reviving them must be your top priority. Reviving an ally doesn't break your invisibility, has no cast time, cooldown, or cost. When under fire, remember your character's ability. Bubbles can summon a protective dome for additional cover. It can also create some sort of distraction for you to escape. Remember to send charges to your allies when your health allows it, especially if you feel they can use extra help. Striking extractors that are remote from the action can be effective, as most enforcers are focused somewhere else and will not be paying close attention. Avoid having multiple robots striking the same extractor at once, as it will make the whole team more vulnerable. Even though you go back invisible very quickly, remember that the enforcers don't have to see you to take you down. Stop moving and hide if you feel they are onto you. As the match progresses, some extractor will need to be destroyed completely. Pay attention to the cracks in the glass. Enforcers use extractors to recharge their weapons. If you take one out entirely, they become disadvantaged and will need to find a new source of energy. Enforcers will often spend a lot of energy and efforts trying to keep one of the robots disabled. Try to use this to your advantage. Be careful when you send a charge. The energy bolt traveling from you to your ally is visible to enforcers. It will alert them to your position. When disabled, you cannot move or use abilities, but you can use this time to carefully look at the action and inform your allies on your surroundings. When revived, try escaping in a different direction than your rescuer to avoid getting cornered. Airstrike is a powerful ability that deals immense damage in one area, following a short signal. Be mindful and escape before it's too late. Getting revived brings you back to full health. It's a great time to send a charge or two to your allies and help them out. In every map, some extractors are more central and will tend to be where the enforcers converge when the match progresses. Characters like Builder and Liquidator can put defenses around them to discourage Orthonics to attack them early in the game, but they will need to be dealt with at some point. Try giving these a few punches during the match to avoid a difficult last stand. When one of your allies is in trouble, Try staying in the vicinity so you are ready to assist them if they get caught. If both of your allies are disabled, you need to start playing very carefully. If you get shut down, it's game over. Stop giving any cues on your location and head to the ally who is disabled in a safer spot. Enforcers will do everything they can to prevent you from reviving your ally including building walls around them. You need to remember two things. 
Walls can be broken in one punch, and reviving is instantaneous. Use your ability if you need to. Volcanic's abilities have no cooldown. You can use them as long as you have an ally to help you charge them. Don't forget that charges can be sent across the entire map. With only two extractors to defend, enforcers are going to be much more difficult to distract. They are a team of three, so two of them will probably be defending an extractor each, but beware of the third one, as he might be roaming around to pick you off. You can regain health by attacking extractors, but it wouldn't be wise to attack one right in the middle of the action with 18 health left. Attacking the last extractor is always a very difficult task unless it has been heavily damaged earlier in the match, but it's not impossible. Make sure you and your allies are all in good shape and have packed a few charges to use your abilities. Try attacking from different sides and not at the same time. Remember that extractors can't be repaired. Every single punch counts. As the extractors get more damage, it recharges the enforcer's weapon slower. You have the upper hand here, no matter how many times you die. Try to always have one of the work onyx away from the battle, so it can serve as a reset button, and you can keep trying until you finally get that one last punch in. Good job! We hope that with this guide you are better prepared to play as a work onyx in aftercharge. Have a great day, and don't forget to join our community on Discord.